Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Bowery, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm discussing nine tips to relieve constipation naturally. So I know that constipation plagues a lot of people. In a previous video, I talked about what a natural good-looking stool or poop should really look like, so make sure that you check that out. And we're aiming for a stool that is a dark sinker. It does not cause any pain or irritation on its evacuation out of the body and I have some great graphics as to and some models as to what you know different types of stools look like so make sure you check out that video if you missed it okay so here's my tips tip number one is to drink enough hot water so I'm not talking coffee I'm not talking tea that has caffeine caffeine can be very dehydrating so what you and what I shared with my patients for years is to drink 10 cups of hot water you can put a little bit of lemon in there if that helps with flavoring for you to be able to get it down but it's that hotness and this is related to Ayurvedic medicine in which they believe that the heat really helps to allow for that proper motility in the digestive tract you can also consume soup and hot foods as well especially in winter time when the temperature is colder outside depending on where you live and this is a great way if you are constipated to naturally get that motility moving Tip number two is to increase the fiber in your diet. So whether this is from raw fruits and vegetables, which of course are very important in terms of other health reasons and your antioxidants, but getting enough of this both soluble and insoluble fiber is really important if you are constipated. Dried fruits, so things like prunes and figs are fantastic. You just wanna watch when you're consuming them. So usually not first thing in the morning, especially when we're not wanting to spike our insulin levels early in the day but later on in the day is a great way to make sure that you're getting in some of this added fiber always consuming these dried fruits so especially the figs and the prunes with a lot of water that's the whole mechanism that you're wanting to pull more water into that fiber so that you have that proper bowel movement so another thing that you could use is psyllium seed husks. So this in an ultra fine powder, and I prefer to take it in an encapsulated form. So we'll be sure to share those links in this video, but this is a great way to make sure that you're getting that both soluble and insoluble fiber, which is fantastic for bulking up the stool and also cleansing the intestinal walls as that fiber is helping to trap some of those toxins that may be in some of that undigested stool that may be sitting in the large intestine. Tip number three is to exercise. So moving your body really helps to move things in the digestive tract as well. So any type of exercise is good. I know that a lot of people have suffered being, you know, more sedentary in the last year or so. So ensuring that we are getting moving, getting active, this is a great way to get things moving in the digestive tract as well. Tip number four is to fix the leaky gut syndrome. So this is, I have entire videos all about the leaky gut syndrome but basically what's happening is that the tight junctions can open up in the small intestine and this can let lead to some of those toxins and undigested foods some bad organisms from passing into the digestive tract and this can then cause an inflammatory response can cause the autoimmunity and so this is something that I discuss at length in other videos so make sure that you check those out but some of the great things to do to fix the leaky gut and to protect your microbiome biome are fermented foods so ensuring that you have some sauerkraut in the diet is fantastic there are loads and loads of different microorganisms in a healthy sauerkraut so that's something you can even make yourself as well as kimchi which is sort of like a spicy um, Asian uh, infusion in terms of sauerkraut which is also great it's also either fermented or not but has a lot of those active microorganisms as well yogurt is fantastic and kefir as well and now there are vegetarian sources from coconut that this is a great way to get some of those live cultures of those you know good guys those probiotics back into your digestive tract which really helps with your microbiome 
helps with that, that proper elimination. Sometimes you may need to go to a probiotic supplement as well. So just ensuring that it doesn't contain any magnesium stearate, which you know that I'm against and I don't like that as a, as a food you know, additive or it's something called a flow agent that goes into manufacturing, especially for probiotics that are encapsulated. So you wanna make sure that you're not ingesting that. But ensuring that you're getting the right microflora when you are choosing a probiotic, something that's designed for your human digestive tract. Okay, tip number five for relieving constipation is to detoxify. So you definitely want to do a full body detox. And it's one thing to get the bowels moving. So this is why, you know, herbal medicines, one of my favorites is Cascara Sagrada, helps to gently get, you know, things moving in the digestive tract. But you don't want to just focus there when you're doing detoxification. You also want to ensure that you're detoxifying your liver, your kidneys, your lungs, your blood, your lymphatic system the skin even and that's why I always suggest a full body detox because the risk here is that if you're only focusing on one organ is that you can be pushing those toxins to those other organs that are not ready to deal with that toxic load and that's why by doing that full body detox with all of the internal organs at once it's a great way to alleviate that toxicity and not get those side effects of doing the detox so you won't suffer with the headaches and maybe the diarrhea and you know the frequent stools from doing it as a full body detox. So I promise that we'll share those links below for a great full body detox. Okay, tip number six is to do acupressure. So this is something that is fantastic that you can do at home on your own. And this point called Stomach 36 is a master point for helping with constipation. So I'm gonna show you how you find this very easily. So all you're gonna do is you're going to cup your knee and just holding your hand over your knee like this and basically where your ring finger ends up and sometimes you have to sort of fish around for that point i need to go usually a little bit lower than my ring finger but you'll feel a little bit of an indentation there and when you feel that achy spot that's your stomach 36 and this all you have to do is little circular motions with your hand so small little circles push down as hard as you can um, to be able to feel that chi or that energy and you will feel this going down your leg quite likely and that really activates your digestion and that stomach meridian because in Chinese medicine of course the that chi that energy flows through these channels and that believe it or not is related to your stomach and to getting digestion going. So try that. I wanna hear how that goes in the comments. Please let me know how that's working for you. And you can do it on both sides. So I would actually recommend that you do it on both sides. So yeah, so find that point on both sides and just do that little massage. And you can massage for a couple minutes, two, three times a day to really stimulate that activation of that stomach meridian and to get those bowels moving. Okay, tip number seven for relieving constipation naturally is to ensure that you're in the right position when you are using the toilet, when you're having that bowel movement, when you're defecating. Now, this is important because it's based on the puborectalis muscle, and this is like a sling that actually holds the rectum so that we don't have incontinence. And you can see in this diagram that it's holding that rectum in that up position so that it's holding the stool where it should be and that is in normal you know walking around sitting all day so that we don't just you know poop out our insides <laughs> but we want to be able to relax that and the right positioning when you are on the toilet is to actually have a 35 degree angle and what you're wanting to do is that your legs should be elevated so you now are lifting your toes when you're on the toilet you can also get a little stool and you know there's a company that sells the stools which is fantastic and you know you lift so that you are accentuating that angle of your legs up a little bit higher and you lean forward and the ideal angle here is about 35 degrees between your pubis and the your upper body and what this does is it allows for that puborectalis muscle to relax and now the rectum is in the right position to allow the evacuation of that stool and this is incredible so for anybody especially 
especially with kids who struggle, you know, get and their and their little legs, they're in the wrong position. If you think about it, we as adults as well, we're in the wrong position. But you know, get those children to and yourself as well to lift up the legs as you should to get that right angle so that you can release that muscle and the evacuation is much, much easier. And that's why in different cultures, when I get into tip eight now, in terms of what their natural positioning is, it is in this squat position. So my tip number eight is to use some yoga postures to really help with relieving the constipation. And again, this is completely natural. So one of the my favorite postures is a, a seated twist. So the twisting postures are known to really get and squeeze out the contents of our digestive tract, really helping with digestion. And this is called our Matsendrasana. So I'm sure I don't pronounce that correctly. I'm sorry to all my yogi friends out there. And this is basically a seated twist. And by doing this position, you are helping to wring out your intestines and helping to move that stool along. So typically this is practiced first on the right side. So bringing up your right leg first and twisting and then on the left side. And you can stay in this position for as long as it's comfortable sometimes up to a couple minutes on one side and then you switch over gently to the other side but this is a great way to wring out those intestines and allow for that evacuation another one of my favorite poses in yoga is the malasana so this is called the goddess squat again in different cultures sitting in a squatted position is a normal part of the day and I don't think we do this enough so this is great for your knees it's great for your hips so do your best to get into this position into the malasana and it is fantastic for moving the bowels and allowing for things to move and you you can get a sense when you get into this position that you can actually feel you know that there's sort of a dropping sensation especially in the contents of what's going on in the gut so yeah it's it's great I want you to to try it out and let me know how it goes in the comments if you're new to yoga if you've not yet tried this before and tip number nine something that you probably haven't heard before is grounding so this has to do with the first chakra and the, in terms of energy medicine we have seven sometimes people say eight chakras or energy centers in the body so the first chakra is the base chakra and what we want to do is we want to allow this energy to be grounded and connected with the earth often when we're not grounded and we're uprooted and you may have experienced this is something that I mentioned in another video when you travel and you go from you know your present location where you live and you travel elsewhere especially if you stay overnight especially if you cross some time zones not only does this mess up your circadian rhythms but it can also be related to ungrounding uprooting from your first chakra and you're not in your usual location now you're not grounded and connected with your new location. So this is why grounding as soon as you get to your new destination is a great idea. Getting barefoot on the grass is really important. If there is grass or the ground or the sand or where, wherever, hopefully a sand because that would be nice. Um, but getting grounded in your new environment is really important to be able to help because that will help to get over that constipation that's related to that uprooting of the first chakra a lot more quickly than what it would otherwise. I know a lot of people who travel, they need to take something on a arrival you know as a laxative to get things moving as soon as they arrive in their new location so hopefully this will help you hopefully everybody will be traveling again soon and you know I hope that you learned something new in this video please be sure to share it I'd love to hear you from you in the comments so please put your questions and your comments below if especially you know you have a question or you've got some tips for constipation as well I always love to share and maybe that will be featured in another video please give me a big thumbs up I truly appreciate it and if you're new here make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so that you always get my newest and latest uploads and turn on all of those notifications so that you always get that notification that something else has been uploaded from myself and my team here and always doing our best to help you on your natural health journey so remember to always take care of your good health and do it naturally thanks for joining me today